everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Wars number four. We're coming to you uh, from Angie's of Burnside in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. I'm Scott McGinnis of Iron Sport Videos. Should have a pretty interesting uh, uh, arm wrestling night for you. we got uh, four challenge matches in a four-way. So right now I want to introduce uh, Rick Pinckney, uh, referee-in-chief of the CAWF and president of Nova Scotia Arm Wrestling. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? I'm doing How great you, tonight. Yeah, you speaking the mic, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the, what I want to go over with you first of all, Rick, is uh, our fir very first matchup of the night. We have Will Sardi versus Ryan Purdy. Six left-hand matches, all starting straight. What do you think is going to happen here? You know, so I got to give the the nod to Will, but uh, these guys have never met before. They've never pulled left-handed before. They've never pulled wow. left-hand before. And uh, Ryan, uh, he started out slow left-hand, but he's been coming on left-handed too. Okay. So it, it could be really interesting, but I, I got to give the nod to Will only because he has been pulling left so long, and uh, he's got a pretty good left on him. Okay, and then our second match is we're going to uh, Ryan's brother Matthew Purdy versus Mark Rockwell for six right-handed uh, straight start matches. I think I got to go with Matthew Purdy on this one. I don't think uh, Mark has ever beaten Matthew uh, straight up, but you know. When you got six matches, it makes all the difference in the world. I want to see these two guys going to Hulk and really go at it. That would be interesting because that's where, I mean, Mark they're doesn't both, think. They're both big-time hookers, so it'd be Mark nice doesn't to see think them going he's, in there. Uh, he's good in a hook, but uh, you and I both know when we've seen him, that's where he's gone yeah. and been comfortable. So, oh, for sure. But I'd have to agree with you. I think uh, I think it's Matthew in this one as well. So and then that's gonna, I'm going to bring me over now to introduce my other commentator for the night, is uh, Ernie McMaster, uh, provincial champ, Canadian champ. Um, Ernie, we're gonna. I want to talk to you about the, our last two matches tonight. Nice. We got Mark Kroos, Ed McClellan, and six right-hand hook matches. What's your call on that? Uh, well, I train with Ed, and he's very strong in there. Um, it's gonna be hard. I don't think it's gonna be any close or any uh, quick pulls. I think they're all gonna be long, but uh, I don't know who's gonna win that. I tell you Mar what, I Mark know. Mark is probably stronger than Eddie, but Eddie has a certain spot, and if Mark pulls him there. Eddie gets in that sweet spot. He gets in the sweet spot. I think he's going to gonna really surprise Mark. And then on to our, our last matchup of the night. Uh, again, Will Sardi in his second challenge match of the night. Will Sardi versus Trevor Weatherby in six right-hand straight start uh, matches. Trevor Trevor seems a man possessed uh, since he went to nationals. And uh, he says he ain't going to lose ever again. He's going to win nationals this year. I think uh, Trevor's going to beat Will just because I think he's going to back up what he's saying. Okay, well, you know what, though? Let's not count Will out because oh, Will, well, no, wait, just let me finish. I'm not going to count him out. Will just beat me in Yeah, that. Will moves up in weight class and uh, yeah, yeah. Ends, up, ends up beating the guys that were favored to win the class. Yes, very much so. so. Will Sardi uh, proves himself every time he uh, picks up them 360-pound weights that uh, he's pound for pound the guy. You know what, and, and coming on... He, Definitely one of the one, one of the most improved uh, arm wrestlers here in Nova Scotia. Boy, you know what? Maybe one of the smartest arm wrestlers here in Nova Scotia yes, right now, too. Yes. So. And, uh, like I say, his head is behind his arm now, and he's a dangerous man. Okay. And then that brings us uh, brings us to the uh, the four way left hand round round robin challenge. We have got Christopher Scott, Terrence Wrigley, Vernon Weatherby, and Brian Coffel. First to you, Rick. How do you think that's going to shape up? I think uh, this is Terrence's to lose, actually. Uh, I think left-handed. If it was right-handed, I'd go with Brian all the way. But left-handed, I think uh, this would be Terrence's. Although Christopher's been showing some major gains down here. He certainly left, left Left-handed handed down. He? He's been coming to practice. He's been showing some major gains left-handed. So, you know, you never count him out. Uh, I think Vernon be the wild card in this. But, you know, even Brian. Brian, you know, gets in there. He can... He can be real, the real spoiler in this match too, so uh, this could be interesting. And this is a, a good way, a good actual showing that you don't have to have the best arm wrestlers to have a good four-way, good have some good arm wrestling match. All you have to do is have four guys that are very competitive. Definitely. You know what? Yeah. You know what, guys? Just like um, the UFC matchups is everything. It, it makes it. Oh right? yeah, That's for what's sure. Give you your sure. entertainment value or not? Absolutely. Yeah. What That's do you think, right. Gert? That's what do you right. think about these four guys? Uh, and, uh, I agree with uh, Rick. If it would have been right-handed, I would have to go with Brian. But uh, speed kills, and Terrence, I think, is the fastest one up there. Uh, Christopher, I think, is the wild card there, left-handed. Like you said, he has beaten Terrence, gaining some confidence. And uh, I think he's the youngest out of the bunch, is he not? Yeah, he's only so he's 16. He's getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. And, uh, and he's uh, down here at practice every week now, too. Well, there you go. Yeah. Christopher Scott. There you go. Okay. We You're picking our, Christopher? We, we have our matchups for the there night. There you go. And uh, I think we're just about ready to get our first matchup underway, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're ready for our first matchup of the night. we got uh, Ryan Purdy's already at the table, and uh, there's Will. This will determine a lot, this first match. 
If one, yeah, sorry, this will this will determine a lot this first match. If uh, Ryan flies right through him, then uh, that could really well, set the uh, tone. I can tell already. Brian's hand is down. Will is up high. Yeah, but yeah, <clears throat> it's a bad setup right there. Bad setup for who? Ryan. For Ryan. Wow. I don't know. Oh. It wasn't bad. <laughs> well, it was. He's See, still Will's good. good Will's good at catching. Will. Yeah. Nice match. I have a feeling these guys are going to end up in straps. So the wi to, Will's uh, got Will's Will. got really good hand position on him. Now they're going to slip out. Good match. Good yeah. match, guys. And straight to the straps again in the in our challenge matches. All slip outs go straight to the yeah. straps. So we want the arm wrestlers to determine. Who's exactly. the, and you know, and we we've, we've never had it really had anybody purposely pull out Not in so the losing far. position. So, so you know, who do you think has an advantage now? Will in the straps? Will. Will. Okay, we're uh, the referee got her again. Stopped up and uh, ready to go. So, Rick, you were saying you think the uh, advantage now goes to Will in the straps? Yeah, because I don't, I don't think uh, Ryan can smash through him left-handed. And if uh, Will stops him, then I, th I think the, the advantage is definitely going to Will. Then Will's a lot smarter pull than Ryan is in the straps. He got well, him though, well, right off the bat. I, I thought, he got him. I yeah. thought too. I thought right there. I thought that would happen right there. All right, guys, we're back well, again. And, uh, okay, they, never, didn't Will, their, they didn't take their full minute, but Will, we're back ready to go. Will did take a little break there, and uh, that's a good thing. Think about what was going on, what you happened. Know, but you know something? These guys are both in really good condition. So. Well, they are, but you know what, though? I've watched other guys not take breaks in between, just, okay, let's go. And, and they, You should get yourself into a routine and yeah. take your break and, and again, regroup. Unless you figure. unless way you way down, but it worked the first time. It's yeah. way down. Way down. But now, here, and Will's way up high. Go! Wow. Stop. Will can't stop. Uh, well, 2 nothing. Well, I think two, we're seeing an improvement for, uh, in uh, Mr. Ryan. Left Handed. Yeah. Hand, and you said it, Rick. You said he hasn't pulled much. Yeah. And yep. now you're seeing he's really coming on. Yeah, a bit yeah, more exact, <laughs> yeah exactly. So while we watch the, uh, while we watch the replay, so what, what was the difference that time? Why was uh, Will not able to stop Ryan? Will's not getting his hand in very good position. He's just holding it in one spot, well, trying to just hold on to his wrist. Rick, he feels good up high, and he sounds so low, but it looked like there that Purdy was just rolling him out this way. I know. But the thing is, when he rolled, Will did not make a move to, to recover from that. No. He took him part way, and Will just held on. Will's going to have to move his elbow, get his hand up in I better think, uh, to stop Will that. Will needs to uh, hook him. Yeah, if he can. Guys, back to match number three. Right now, uh, Ryan Purdy's up uh, two to nothing. Uh, uh, guys, what uh, what kind of adjustments does Will have to make now? I think he should try to hook just to yeah. see how he stands in there for power on power with uh, Ryan because uh, Will's very strong in a hook too. Rick, you think the same thing? Oh, yeah. I even just uh, suggested to Will to try the hook in there and see how it goes. See if he can get it. Can he get it? The, the, the question is, can he get him in there? No, he can't no. get him in there. That's a no, and he's sitting in a terrible position yeah. there. Yep. Yeah, three, three, nothing for Ryan. It's, yep. uh, Open a gap. Gap. Right, guys, we're back. Yeah. Match, Match number, number four. four. Man, this is confidence, not going the way I thought. Uh, confidence level is uh, going down. I think a little bit. No, you know something. Well, as long as it, you know, the main thing is. Uh, well, the last two matches haven't been close. The no. first match was. Yeah. Will's just got to learn to just keep trying. Why he's, was he not able to stop him in the last two matches? I think he's I think holding he on too tight. Harder, yes. This, He's, he... no. Well, it right there showed a little bit. That was showed me more power there by uh, yeah. Ryan, really, because he gave well, him a good hit and didn't go nowhere. So. Yeah, yeah. And so, but he, he's losing his wrist. Ryan's wrist is overpowering Will's big time, and that's the and that, no that, that's no. met, that's getting to be the biggest difference right now. If and you he's watch, staying up high on him. Yeah. Maybe. I don't. I think what he's going to have to do is l learn how to put up some. Into a hook. Yeah, try to hit straight over the top. There he goes. Yeah, he's got him this time. Wow. Opened my mouth too soon on that one. <laughs> he, certainly, he certainly isn't giving up. He's still in there. There's a winner. Will brings it back that time. Yeah. I think that just that two, took out that to three one. Three one. Three one. That was that, match number four. And that just took a lot out of Ryan. Yeah. It sure seemed to where there's a reaction after the pin. It yeah. Seemed to have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, back well, with uh, match know, number five right now. It's uh, three matches to one for, uh, and, for Ryan. And endurance-wise, maybe starting the show soon. 
will yeah. endurance wise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's because he's down there practicing all night. I was going to say, yeah, there's with only everybody, second to none, right? With everybody. He practices with everybody, just one after another after another. So that does pays it, off. Does he have enough in him to, to I take think, another yeah, one? Yeah, I think so. No, I guess not. That was a big hit right there. That was yeah. He needed that one. Yeah. <laughs> he, re- he really did because it looks like his. It looks like. Uh, Ryan's forearm is starting to blow up on him. Yeah, so. but Will, again, grabbed on too much. Yeah. I think he got one win in there and got a little overconfident. He should have just kept doing the same thing. Ryan's doing the same thing. Then he took and switched and made a, and it made it work. So he should have went with that again. Well, now we're on. Oh, well, <laughs> now we're Rick back. was talking very good there. <laughs> Scott had him turned off. I wasn't saying a word, just yeah. listening. Sometimes the best okay, comments come when the camera when the Here we go with the last one. Again, Will's, uh, I think very Will's squeezing. Very he's squeezing, squeezing too much. And it's a very yep. s- Oh. No. <laughs> Didn't call. I thought that I thought that for sure was, but. Well, that, that, that was definitely, definitely down. Is. Yeah. Yeah. So Winner right there, five to one. for. Right yep. yep. Five matches to one. Let's get both guys All back. Right after, here we are with uh, Will and Ryan after. Uh, uh, pretty one-sided match, I, I guess. Five matches to one uh, for Ryan. Uh, let's start with you, Will. In the beginning, it looked like you were right in there the first couple. Um, what did you feel went wrong for you? Uh, stamina for my hand. Uh, we were loading up, both of us, uh, going with a lot of hand strength, and uh, Ryan's hand strength is a lot uh, more dominant than mine, and uh, he tired my hand out, and that's uh, what I thought I could capitalize on was my hand, and he took it from me, and then uh, once he took my hand, there was... Pretty much no other move I could do. Well, now what we were talking about with uh, Rick and Ernie, what we're saying uh, while we're watching you, do you feel maybe if you had to let up on the grip? I tried letting up around the third match to see what I could do, but uh, Ryan knows ways around it. Okay. So I was trying. There you go. (laughs) He wasn't letting me. And your left hand's coming on, buddy. It is. It is. And still, with with seeing the way uh, Wills is coming on lately, I actually I thought. You know, with all the talk still, I still honestly thought, uh-oh. You it was know, going to be pretty close. Well, yeah, I walking into the match, but I'm, what I'm training, if I just want to be able to train and just be at the top, you know, where my right's at with my left, because I'm, I mean, I'm just not, you know, I can't, like, there's guys like Marcos and Melvin and them, and, and I just, by the end of the year, I have all intentions of taking it from them as well. All you're lacking so. now is the hit. No, proper thing, so I, uh, I, you got to have something to shoot for. That's right, so, I mean, i got to start training, you know, and uh, the hit, the left hand doesn't really have the hit, you know, so either, yeah. so. Um, it just... I, I don't know, it just went my way today. You know, that one match, though, if there was a one match in a tournament, that's all it takes. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, true. That's right. You never know. Anyways. All right, again, congratulations, uh, Ryan, on a good win. Thanks for the match, Ryan. And, Will, we'll see you later on tonight oh, again. Yeah. Okay, thanks, guys.